My friend, my friend, we're going to be doing This Land is Your Land. Uh, Woody Guthrie, awesome. Really, for this, we're in the key of C major. C major, D minor, E minor, F sharp major. Either move it up a whole step or just open G tuning. Uh, we have an A minor. And then our B diminished. Cross up our whole bar chord here and then throw out a finger on your uh, G string. That suffices, and it goes right back to a C or upward towards the C. I mean, really, for this one, we've got uh, just chord pro for the beginning. One, two, three, four, one, boom, 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 C major. Two, three, four, one. To, we're going to go to a G major. Whenever I see Core Pro, I always suggest looking at the notation that's below. This book we're working from just happens to be the claw hammer kind of thing. So if you're doing your claw hammer, brush down here and you're going to be picking individual notes. They're part of the melody. We're going to go over those in a minute. Now we're going to do a D7. It's going to look a lot like your D major. Remember our D minor looks like this when we move forward our minor third, the F to the F sharp. We get our D major, or just leave it on open, as you know, because you can play a D here. Moving this note backwards is going to give us, wow, our D7 feel. And that feels good even with the high G. Right on. So when we're going through here, those are our only chords. It's going to have the feeling of, this land is your land, this land is my land, from California to New York Islands, Pick up as I was. So that feeling of having those notes moving through, you're having three pickup notes. So same as the beginning of the song, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one. Open, two, open, one. And then that lands us on our first chord. Now you can play the whole chord, which I suggest, and then start utilizing the function of your thumb and then your pointer finger and your middle finger. Yes, you can play with your ring finger. In some books, it just doesn't call for all three of these because with claw hammer, you're not really utilizing the same function as you would with the bluegrass stuff. So, so when we're doing this, open, two, open, one. We're playing on that G string. G, A. B, C. Following suit, play the chord. We're gonna do a quick brush all the way down through. Keep your smoking gun out if you want. Just use those fingernails for a lot of sound. Plectrum over the top goes right down on this thing. When you start speeding up your groove, you can start getting these kind of really cool rotations where you're playing your own percussion. All right. We're gonna go to the five. So play the G and then you're gonna play the two. Plectrum again, and these are eighth notes. So we've got one, two, and three, four, and one, two. We're going to be playing an open note, two for our picking, and B again, and then plectrum strum, and then utilize that same function. So eighth notes, so we've got one, two, and three, and four, and Hold that D7 out, two and three and four and, remember you're going to be alternating between this high G and then this D back and forth. When we go through the whole phrasing, the next chord is going to be played as the G, so we're going to be playing them open. So we have two on that G string, eighth note with the open second string to the four. Ba -da. It's kind of a little better. Pluck them strung down, eighth note, pluck, eighth note, quarter, eighth note, middle finger. We're going to be playing up on the open two now. Play to the one because we just moved back to the C. You can play the whole thing for the pluck and strum again. And then play your open G again. Same line as repeating that you did in the first measure. So you get really good at doing just that measure. And then we're gonna go up to the one, open, one, one, hammer on, here we go, one, three. 
And I would always suggest playing with your one and three finger and skipping finger skipping a fret. It feels good when you play your one and three finger together and then your two and your four finger together. They start to become like a little, little partnership. And then after that hammer on, we have an open note plucked for a quarter. Uh, eighth note quarter, eighth note quarter. G string, plectrum on the D. When I say plectrum, I mean just a, a brush or a strum, go down strokes. And then uh, to an eighth note. Here's where the cool note comes in. We're gonna drop our pinky over to the D string, and then we're gonna play it as a pull off. Uh, and when we do that, the next note we're gonna play is the second string, the open B. Wonderful. Right into that D7, and then back into a G. That's going to finish that first and second line as they're both the same. First time you get through this, you're going to go through that at a very slow speed. Here's how you practice. You're going to take that first walk in and go. That's going to be what you practice to get your middle finger to play on the second fret. Play a, a plectrum pick with your middle finger or your pointer finger here, your uh, one and your twos, or your two and your three actually, one and your two, and then go up to here to your C note. So you'll have... I always suggest going slow. I always suggest singing with it too. The idea is you're getting comfortable with these notes for sight reading in these books. They're just the foundation. You go through Chord Pro just to get a fix where you are. This land is mine. And then you add in all the chords you know. You can even move through chords literature outside the diatonic structure if you can realize C and D minor work well together and you know you're going to a C. Well, then why not incorporate that? those chords are within the seven diatonics. Hey, I hope this works on your foundation. Look forward to part two. This land is your land to play the second part through. Page 54, done. Page 55, tune back in. Aloha.